Hi everybody, this is uh, Dr. Raleigh Duncan with Clearlight Sauna. And uh, today we've had a lot of questions about uh, EMF meters and uh, you know which ones we like, which ones we use, and how come they're all so different and different prices. So anyway, this is a subject dear to my heart. And so let's just start out with one that uh, we've seen recently. So this is one that says uh, Gauss meter on it, and it's relatively inexpensive. You can actually, it's sold on History Channel and it's Sears as part of a ghost hunting kit. So you can see that, see that's the one right there. Now, um, I picked my monitor as, as a target for us to use to see relative EMF that's coming off, okay? So let's start with this one, the Gauss Master, the one that's uh, sold for ghost hunting and different things. And some people are using this to test for EMF, but let's, let's just go in and see. And this one only goes from zero to 10 milligauss. All right, so that's a um, pretty small range. So let's, so we're turning on, I'm away from the monitor and whoa, look at that. I'm just getting up to the monitor and that's, that looks very dangerous, just right there. It's, but it's, it's 10 milligauss, above 10 milligauss, so you can't really tell what it is, okay? And that's the Gauss Master. Now, we recommended for many years the Tri-Field, and that's this one here. In fact, we did a lot of testing, but recently we found out that the Tri-Field itself um, if they're not calibrated correctly, they can read incorrectly, and that the tri-field, we always liked because it was very sensitive. Then we found out why. It's very sensitive because it reads a lot of other things uh, other than EMF at the same time. So it will read uh, maybe changes in the wave patterns of your electricity, but not necessarily EMF. So let's test that one. So you can see this one's reading um, right here we're getting a reading of about 15 and it's spiking up to 25 on that. And I, the other thing we found is that there's inconsistency. So look at this one. That's the same meter on the same testing. That one's testing, while well, this one's testing at 8, this one's testing way over 100. So we don't use the tri-field anymore because we've just found it not to be accurate. Okay. And these were both uh, new, and this is just how they came uh, to us, all right? So I want to hold this up against the one that we use now is an X-Tech. So X-Tech is a bi pretty big company. They make um, all kinds of equipment, testing equipment. And you'll see this one, the tri-field on the left, is reading way over 100 milligauss. We've got it on the 0 to 100 range. This one's reading point four, now it's 0.6, but really, really low EMF coming off of that. So uh, I'm trusting this one a little more and I want to show you, uh, this one's pretty expensive. I think this is about $150. I want to show you uh, their website. So this is the Xtech website, E-X-T-E-C-H, and they're a really large company. They make thermal cameras, they make all kinds of equipment, electrical testers, and um, oscilloscopes, moisture meters, light meters. Uh, you know, you can go on and and look at what they do. Uh, refractometers. So you know, they're a testing equipment company, basically. Thermometers. They make thermal imaging cameras uh, that go by the name of FLIR. F-L-I-R, and so those are really well accepted. So I, I trust this one. It's digital, and uh, I feel I'm getting a true reading of what's coming off of that. So let's, anyway, go back here. So this one's reading, you know, just going crazy, saying, oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. But this one's reading about one, you know, one milligauss, point three. So anyway, I, um, I don't really, anyway.